Hello everyone and welcome to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. All this week I will be wearing shades of purple and all of the jewelry that I will be wearing are gifts from all of you, the subscribers. Let's talk about setbacks today. I've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of people have been experiencing setbacks, especially since when the pandemic started. So let's talk about how sometimes setbacks they catch you off guard. Sometimes they're unexpected setbacks. And these setbacks, it causes a delay with your progress. You know, in your progress, you don't seem to be able to get ahead. Every time you take a few steps forward, something else happens. So we need to talk about this today because it does affect your mental health state. Now, Sometimes life is an up, it's just ups and downs. It's a roller coaster, but how you deal with it will, will, it will determine what your mental state is. Some people, when they encounter a setback, they just take a downward spiral. They just, they can't come back from it, but there are different types of setbacks. And sometimes these setbacks occur at different points times periods of your life and then what about this when you've got two or three different setbacks going on at one time that really can be overwhelming um you think about the financial setbacks you have sometimes people have career setbacks health setbacks as you get older things start breaking down with your body um so this might be an oxymoron to some of you, but some setbacks end up working out for your good. You know, sometimes you have to take a few steps back and really sit in some stuff and then begin to reevaluate your life, begin to make some changes, some modify some things. So sometimes a setback is not a bad thing for you because sometimes you're running all over the place and you're so busy, you don't take time to think. Whatever you may be dealing with or whatever is going on, understand that there is a reason and a purpose for it. Now, a lot of people like to attribute setbacks to the enemy. And you know how people use the quote, oh, the devil is just busy. He's just working on me. Sometimes the Most High God allows setbacks. So all the time, don't quickly put it on the enemy. Sometimes God himself is allowing this because he's trying to get your attention and he's trying to get you get a lesson to you. But whatever it may be, understand that things will turn around. Now, one thing for sure, even when you are in the middle, when you in the midst of it, don't fall into getting so depressed until you're stuck until you're unable to come up out of that. You have got to have a strong prayer life, a strong level of faith, because sometimes the human side of us kick in. We're not spirit-filled all the time, and sometimes when that, that flesh get involved, you will have a tendency to, to feel like you're having a meltdown, feel like, you know what, oh my God, you're going to fall into blaming yourself sometimes. See, some of you are of walking in unforgiveness with yourself. Sometimes you got to start with yourself and forgive yourself for the bad choices you made and for some of the things you did. Don't get into constantly blaming and, and the shame and the guilt of it all. Now hurt, disappointments, discouragement, all of those things set in when you are experiencing a setback. You know what, though? Like I said, God just might be putting you in position for your comeback. So don't look at the setback all the time as a bad thing. Look at it as, you know what? He just might be repositioning me. It might be time for me to get in a different position so I can experience the comeback that is necessary for me to go forward with my life. I know this probably should have been your midweek word, but somebody today needs to hear this. Somebody is experiencing a setback of epic proportion. You don't feel like you can get out of it. You're tired of being sick and tired. That's a quote from Fannie Lou Hamer. You just don't know what else to do. You're at your wit's end. 
And you just don't even want to talk about it. You don't want to think about it. And I know some of you have written to me and said, Pastor Casey, I done prayed and prayed and prayed about it until I'm prayed out. Honey, well, just take a few minutes to breathe and start praying some more. But I know God can turn things around. I know I've experienced him turn around situations. So what I'm saying to somebody today is you've got to believe by all human accounts it's easy to say this is impossible to turn around. But I know in the scriptures it said with the most high God, all things are possible to them that believe. What I'm saying is don't fall apart during a crisis. You know, you, we have a tendency to lose hope. That is natural because I felt that way before. But you have to understand that these things that shake your faith, these setbacks that is shaking your faith, one thing that I know for sure is that that is the time to pray even more. That is the time to really go on your fast. That is the time to get before the Lord, but more so, that is the time to speak God's word back to him. See, sometimes we have a tendency when we pray, we're always asking him and begging him for things, but we've got to start declaring things over our lives. We've got to start making decrees, and we have got to put a command on heaven and say, Lord, you said in your word, you've got to speak his word back to him, because his word says he's a God that cannot lie. Now, another thing is I want you to remember is setbacks are only stepping stones to get you where God wants you to be. Think about that for a moment. It's a stepping stone. You've got to follow the road map, follow the directions, because sometimes God slow you down, pull you back in, reel you in, cause a delay, and it be for your good. So understand how you act, how you behave, the things you say out of your mouth when you are experiencing a setback, it will play a very important role in how soon your comeback comes. How soon, that's a double negative. How soon you will come back. Because sometimes what you say, most times, what you speak out of your mouth, you're manifesting it. And you can manifest something positive or you can manifest something negative. So how you behave, the things that you say, it will determine your comeback. Now, it is when you feel like giving up. When you feel overwhelmed, when you are drained, when you're just discouraged, that is the easy time doubt and unbelief set in. Be aware of those tendencies when you are walking in doubt and unbelief. Some setbacks will leave you emotionally drained. Believe me, I know. You will be drained emotionally and drained, exhausted. But you have got to always remember that when God does his best work, You've got to understand to just let him work. You can't see how it's going to turn out on the other side. You don't understand why you got to sit in this setback so long. But understand that the hands of God is doing something behind the scenes that you can't even see. And remember, your setback is only temporary. You're going to get through it. It's going to be okay. Just think about it. Hold on. Don't give up. It's going to turn around for you. That setback is just a stepping stone to your comeback. Thank you all for watching today. Please get yourself focused. You're all over the place. Get focused, find some balance, and no matter what happens, make your peace a priority. Don't you let nothing and no one disturb your peace so you can be able to sleep at night. Have some peace of mind about things. At the end of this video, please go ahead and share it with other people. Call other people. Share it to, to, their, to their email address. Share it. Text it to them. Um, also, if you are watching on other platforms such as Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, hop over to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I don't control when the notifications come out. All I do is once I upload the videos, they send them out at random. So thank you so much for watching. And again, all this week, I'll be representing the color purple, shades of purple royalty. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.